Oh, there's stairs right there. Forget that. Story time, bitches. So it was round one between the Penguins and the Islanders. I don't know if you remember that series. Uh, it was game three in Nassau Coliseum back when the Islanders, you know, had fans that would go to every game because it is a pain in the ass to drive out of Brooklyn. So anyway, uh, Tavares scored his first ever playoff goal. We were down 4-3 in the third, I think, and he made it 4-4, and it was his first goal. And my dad just took me up, lifted me in the air, and I was going like crazy, and I was... Uh, the, the fans were insane. I was being, I was on, uh, I was on actual NBC, not NBCSN. I was on actual NBC with my dad holding me in the air. It was a great day. So I figured out how biased those, uh, NBC commentators were. But, um, it was really a great day. The fans were going insane. And then we have this NHL series, EA Sports Day, totally have fans that are not anywhere close or genuinely uh, even close to how they are in real life. So uh, all right, let's get to the point here. So as I was saying, the fans are totally unrealistic. Like in some situations, like where you win the Stanley Cup, the fans are just sitting there in their seats not making any noise. That would happen in real life. You take me to freaking Florida, the fans are celebrating. If they win the cup, uh, fans are standing up cheering. And, uh, I mean, it's unbelievable how, like, you add all this crap, like, off ice training and be a pro and everything else, but you can't add just a simple frickin' thing to make the fans celebrate when your team wins the Stanley Cup. No, we have everything, but can't have our fans celebrate when you win the cup. And also, sellouts in arenas like Florida, Arizona, that is not possible. There are no actual sellouts in Florida or Arizona. And it's just absolutely insane that they have it to be that way. Because uh, it's just not realistic at all. And I don't know why Chicago's the loudest on here. I mean, they Chicago fans are very loud. But you have fans like Montreal. Well, they're not actually that loud. But you have other fans in the league like Winnipeg and any other fans that are much, much louder um, that could work. So, all in all, fans do not show enough enthusiasm. And that was a bad goal by me. Just unrealistic amount of people in the crowds. And fan action, too. It's just, uh, no one's showing that much enthusiasm. Oh, where am I going? Jesus Christ. Uh, no one really gets angry, just simple emotions. No one does anything. And the fans' emotions and the amount of people need to be fixed. So, guys, I hope you know what I mean. And please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. The NHL on NBC is presented by Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Now, let's join Mike Mulberry, Peter McGuire. We're going to get our whole crew together for some more biased commentating. Go Penguins, go Bruins, go Rangers, go Red Wings, and screw everyone else in the league. Thank you, and we will see you tomorrow evening on NBC to see another matchup between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Repeat, Pierre Maguire is not gay for Sidney Crosby, just to clarify. Thank you. Good evening. The final score, Rangers 2, Bruins 1. Thank you for watching the 83rd appearance by the Boston Bruins this year. And I will see you guys next time. But first, let's send it down to Ray Ferraro. Thanks, Docs. Uh, closing remarks. Goalie's playing a pretty good game today. Thanks, Ray. Keep listening down there. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening?